Hey guys, we're back with Cheat the Game. As you notice here, I still got Dark Souls 3 up. And this is basically a vid. Let me get past this screen here because I'm kind of having to yell over the music in my ear. And I got a bunch of people riding me, which I got to tell you guys, I just love that. I love hearing from you guys. I really do. It just makes my day. You know, when you got questions and I'm able to help you any way I can, I love hearing from you guys. And I love helping people. If I can help you, I certainly will try. And uh, I was getting a lot of questions in regards to you know, saying, you know, beyond infinite health, magic, and stamina, uh, is there a way that we can get max levels and max stats and things of that nature sometimes i don't like really having infinite health or infinite magic or, or stamina those things are cool and okay but I, mean, I just like going through the game with max stats and everything i like being strong and just go in there and let chips fall where they may you know some people love playing that way i mean i do too sometimes i get that i do and that's a really good idea so what i did i got a couple of requests for that and uh i said you know let me just sit down with it for a little bit now, I got to admit, I really couldn't figure out how the XP works in the system, so I finally triggered it down to souls control these level ups. However, if you go in there and just change your souls, it's not going to do crap, but change your souls. It's not going to go up a level, it's not going to do anything. So I had to find another way to do it. So I decided to use that same soul address, and guess what? I found a way to get level 99 and all max stats. And we're going to do that right now. Now, please know that when you do this, that we're going to do it the quick, easy way. It's called the change and save technique. We just find the addresses real quickly. We change them, save the game, and we always have it. Every time we load up our game, all our stats are maxed. We're not writing any scripts, even though we may go through the functions of uh, maybe a little more intricate functions, but it's something new to learn and something I recommend you always do because you're really cheating yourself if you're not, you know, researching just a little bit some of these addresses because you're really missing out on some other cheats that you can really enjoy all right so let's go ahead and get to it let me go ahead and get my name in here i'm just starting with a new guy also know that you don't have to start fresh you can do this anywhere you are in your game it works 100 percent of the time but i just always start off fresh and there's a couple more things i want to show you while i'm doing this and this won't this won't be a long bit i'll try not to make it too long anyway Let's go ahead and bypass all these uh, cutscenes, which I do love the cutscenes. Just very well done. Great CGI. Um, these guys are really, really good. I just love this game. And so many people are, are liking it too. And I'm sure some don't, but hey, yes, we all can't be the same, right? Be a boring world. Let's go ahead and attach Cheat Engine to the game. And I've, this is from what I had in my previous vid, so I'm going to clear this off. I don't want to confuse anybody. And we're just going to start off with a fresh cheat engine. And right away, what I want to do is I want to go directly to my stats screen. And I just want to show you something right quick. Let's say I'm trying to look for my health value again. And uh, also, what we want to do is we want to find our soul values. Now, we're going to use soul, our soul value internal address and we're going to max out every single stat on here. You're going to be amazed. It's going to max out everything just by finding that one little address. And we're going to do that. But I'm going to show you how you can actually look up two values at once. You can actually have uh, several scans going on. as many, you know, Practically as many as you want, I guess. I don't know if there's a limit to it or not. I've never really researched it. But let's go ahead and try to find our health first of all. And the reason that we're not going to try to find our soul yet, we need to accumulate some points on soul. This is a 64-bit game. In any game, you really don't want to do your first initial scan trying to find a 0 or 1, sometimes even a 2. Because you're going you're gonna to be sitting there forever. So what you want to do is you know, accumulate some points, then go search for it. That'll weed out a lot more, a lot more quickly. So that's what we're going to do. But let's say that we did want to go ahead and start looking for it now. We want to bring up another scan tab here in Cheat Engine. So what we do is we mash Control, hold it down, then mash T on your keyboard. Stands for Thomas T. And it brings up another scan tab. See, and we can start looking for other values if we wanted to. And if you want to do that manually, if you get, forget that hotkey round, you can go up here to File. And it's right up here, very top option. Add Scan Tab, Control T. And you, 
you can have three or four scan tabs sorry about that three or four scan tabs control T control T look I have I can have four different value searches going if I want to so I didn't know if I had mentioned that in the past or not but you, you have that feature if you want it getting back to our cheat here let's go to our enemy here and take a take a hit and then we're gonna whack him and get some souls accumulated so we can start hunting this down Well, I didn't let him whack me, did I? That was stupid. But we do have souls. So it just kind of proved my point that you can look up two values at once. So we're going to go ahead and put in 20. That's your souls down there in the bottom right. It's the same thing. And if you want to go to your list, you can see that souls 20. That's, that's the one we're wanting. So let's go to our next enemy. And let him hit you this time, Chris. There you go. Uh, you only gonna get one, pal. All right, so let's go back to our address, and that's that's all we really need. We can find, we can find Matt stats with just two enemies. <laughs> so first of all, let's go ahead and put on get our infinite health going, and I'll show you how to do this in my previous vid. And I kind of took you the pro way or intermediate way with writing a script, because I always recommend that because you don't have to look it up anymore. And plus, you can share it with other people that have your particular version. And so, I'm not going to go into how to find the internal code versus display codes on this one. It's in my previous vid that I will post up for you right this moment. You'll see it in the upper right. And give, feel free to take a look at it whenever you want to. And that's our internal. Very good. Now, we're going to find our sole internal code. This one's a little more tricky to find. The internal code is a little more tricky to find, and I'll show you. So let's go ahead and net scan 40. Get rid of anything changing. We might have to find... Uh, we might have to go get one more enemy just to kind of see if we can weed that down a little bit more. That's a lot of 40s up there. So let's go whack one more enemy. I think there's another one up here. Yeah, there he is. Alrighty, that's all we need. Now we went up 20 more soul points. Let's go back to our stat screen. And we're up to 60, so let's go ahead and search for 60. And you see it's just the bottom ones that turn there. But we'll put in 60. Next, scan it. And now we have a bunch of display codes and internal codes. You notice we do have a lot of them. Now, internal code is a little more tricky to find. So it may be in the bottom four right here. But usually it's in the bottom. I think in my version it's this one. What you want to do to find the internal code is there will be one code that affects most of the display codes. Not all of them, but the one that affects the most of them. Okay? And I'll show you. So what we want to do is let's set it to a different value like 80 and see what it affects. If it only affects what one or two, uh, that's it right there. That affects most of them right there. And I think that bottom one controls the other four, I believe. Yeah. But we want one that controls most of them, which is one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. That's the one we want. You could probably find it with that one too, the other internal code too. I'm pretty sure that you can. Actually, I know that you can, but I believe it's at a different offset in the same registry. So either one will work. It don't really matter. But that's the true internal code right here, and that's the one I'm going to use. So we're going to right-click it, find out what writes to this address. You can also use the hotkey F6. Places a breakpoint on right. And you see it's automatically writing, so that's all we really need to do, because that's exactly the one we're looking for. And I believe the other internal code is 76, I believe. I'm not sure, but it don't matter. What we want to remember is 74. Just quickly, this means that it's moving EAX, the registry value of EAX, into our address. Our address is RCX plus the offset of 74. 
74 is a shelf location that I explained in another in another vid. I call I think it's Grim Dawn. I'm going to post that up for you in the right hand corner. It'll still be available after the vid, and you can take a look at that. I totally explain registers and offsets and what they mean, and I kind of break it down more understandable instead of using stupid tech terms that I don't even understand. All right, so. So you can take a look at that and I'll really go through and explain what registers and offsets are. But we want to remember this offset of 74 because that 74 is actually a shelf in the location of RCX that's storing our value of 80 or our sole value. So let's remember 74. What we want to do is go back to our internal code. This is our souls right here. And we want to copy this. Mash Control C, or you can right click on it and copy, it don't matter. We're going to go hit Memory View over here. We want to go to our Memory View. We don't need none of this crap down here. What we want to do is go directly to our Tools, and we're going to go down to here to this option, Dissect Data Structures. You can also use the hotkey uh, Control D, or Command D on a Mac. So bring that up. And we'll just get it like a dummy address, I call it. It's a placement holder address. And we're just going to copy and paste, or excuse me, just paste our address into that uh, using Control V as in Victor. Or you can right click it and paste it that way. Don't matter. But it, right now, it's at the, it's the address with the 74 already added to it. Remember? We have an address of RCX plus 74. We need it at that RCX base address. Now here's the base address right here. You can actually just copy and paste that. And put that in here. That's the base address. And we go down to 74. And that will be this address. You can do it that way over here. But we're not going to do it that way. Because I want to show you another feature. That's in dissect data structure itself. Let's say you just went ahead and closed this on down. All right. Let's say you went ahead and closed that on down and say, ah, oh, man, I forgot to get that base address. All right. Well, easy way to fix it. We re remembered that our offset is 74, so all we have to do is tell dissect data structure to give us our base address this way, minus 74. And we just go to structures. Oops. Define new structure. And just OK and yes every screen that comes up. And you notice it went ahead and subtracted that 74 and placed us at our base address, which is where we need to be to, to view all the offsets correctly. Because if you go down to 74, there it is. There's our souls. That's the one we want. And the reason I chose this address, here's where we get to the fun part. All these values right here. Vigor, attunement, endurance, all of them. That's the ones we want. And guess what? Right above it. All the way to offset 44. You see that right there? 10. Oh, excuse me. 12, 10, 11, 13, 12. Take a look. 12, 10, 11. And I know they're kind of out of order. It don't really matter. <clears throat> but there's more there than just these attributes. And I'm going to show you. What I want you to do. From this 40. See that 40? From that 40, right above that 12, or whatever yours happens to be. Yours could be a different value. All the way down to the address, of set, or the offset of 74, which is your souls. I want you to highlight it. Right click on it. And we're going to add to address list. All of them. See that? And what I want you to do from here, you see all we have all those. What I want you to do, first let's go back and just take a look. I want you to remember these stats because they're all about to change, every one of them. What I want you to do is I want you to highlight these, just like that. And just click on that bottom number, or the one you ended up highlighting, and double click it. It'll say what value to change this to. I want you to put in 99. Click OK. Now go back to your stat screen. Take a look. Level 99. Required souls. Bukus. All of these 99. That's not all. Weapons. Attack power. 
up, 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 up. Defense up to 250 maxed. Resistance up, 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 up. Atone attunement slots you just went up 10. Now, I don't know if it goes up anymore if you increase that. I hadn't really tried, but hey. Let's just screw around with it. What happens if we put 9999? I don't know if they'll go up any more than that. Nah, everything pretty much stays the same. So 99 is all it'll let you have. Require souls went up, and you went up to level 999. But all your other stats pretty much stayed the same. So, that's up to you. <laughs> but, here's... That's it. You got max stats. And what you can do... Click escape. Click escape again. Hit that little control wheel. Go over here. Quit game. What it'll do, it'll save the game and return to the title screen. You want to do that. Save the game, return to the title screen. Yes. Alright. Now, close down cheat engine. Get rid of it. Just get rid of it. There we go. And go back into offline mode. And we're going to hit continue. So let it load back up. Give it just a second here. There we are. Now let's go back to our stat screen. Oops, wrong one, Chris. Take a look. Max stats. And believe me, you are strong. So, you know, you don't have to have infinite health, infinite magic, or stamina. And you can put those with them if you want them. But you can also go through the game, max stats. Now, like I say, it don't matter how much you increase your level to. It's not, your stats aren't going to really go up much higher than that. You got a ton. You got like 10 atton uh, attunement slots. And uh, you are very strong. It's going to take a lot for the, those bosses to get you down. <laughs> but that's how you do it, fellas and ladies. I hope you like it. Uh, please enjoy yourself. Uh, if you don't mind, hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button if it helps you out. Uh, please continue to write me if there's any questions you have. I'm more than happy to answer them if I can. <coughs> Excuse me. Also, don't forget, check my friends out over at guidedhacking.com. Cool bunch of guys over there. And uh, you will learn a lot. So uh, make sure that you tell them that Chris Fade at Cheat the Game sent you. Uh, great bunch of guys over there. We, we banter all the time. It's very fun over there. But you guys take care. Keep on hacking. Most importantly, please, enjoy yourself. That's really what it's all about. You cheat the game, fellas, because believe me, it doesn't mind cheating you. You all take care now. And we are strong. Yeah, look at that. Nothing to it. <laughs>